Hi, this is Raheem Sulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to calculate the amount of premium based on group health insurance proposal required by the organization. So first of all, we will discuss what kind of data we have and what kind of criteria which is given to us to resolve this issue. And primarily, if you are not belongs to insurance industry, but still if you are working in an organization, for example, if you are working in risk management department, if you are working in audit, if you are working in finance, these examples will be very handy for you because you find these kind of a similar in, uh, situation. And we will be basically learning how to do two-way X lookup in Excel 365 version based on multiple conditions and that is very interesting. So let's get start learning this. First, we will discuss the data we have. So we have a column of ID numbers, then we have names, age, gender, status, like either a single or married, then date of birth, and then we are required to calculate the final amount of premium based on some criteria. First of all, I would like to explain how we are calculating the age. So if you are primarily a very basic excel user or intermediate you know how to calculate the age but still if you don't so let me show you the formula so we have used uh, the undocumented function which is dated if in g15 we have the date of birth and then we pick the latest date which is basically a volatile function that is today and we want to get the difference based between the two dates uh, in terms of years so if we see Arsalan Khan, uh, he is born on 24th of January 1983 and we are now into the February 2024. So how many years has been passed? So that returns the age of that person. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. Now, we are required to calculate the amount of a premium based on two gross contribution uh, insurance policy okay so the first one is hospital care age-wise cross contribution and the second is maternity age-wise cross contribution so I mean it's very understood that uh, the maternity definitely belongs to the female okay so we have a female here and we have defined the age brackets Okay, so starting from 18 to 25, then 26 to 30, and then so on. And we have restricted uh, this group to 41 to 45. The last number is 45 years. If we see the first bracket of gross contribution respect to the hospital care age-wise, we have males and females. And we have started the bracket from age 1, primarily for male as well. Now, what is the criteria? criteria is that we will be allocating a premium for males with respect to their age but for the females with respect to their ages their status of marriage like if any female is married then she will definitely get the maternity age so I mean again it's understood that if a female is single so definitely she is not entitled for this maternity age wise gross contribution okay? and if any female is being married so we will need to add that maternity contribution we have the age column as you can see for uh, each of the employee but this data is not just for employees this is basically you can see a family tree you can see a male of age three okay or and you can see a female of age 3 as well so this is a group data of uh, you can say family tree where the employees are there their children are there their wives are there okay and we need to allocate the premium of for all the individuals okay now so we will be starting with the x lookup function but before that as I was going through that we have a column of age but as you can see in these two different uh, age-wise gross contribution we have uh, the age brackets here like 1 to 5 6 to 25 26 to 35 and you know that if you are a 
basic or intermediate user where when you use index or match or VLOOKUP or even XLOOKUP uh, definitely you need a helper raw and to make sure because each of the employees is a different age and that will fall in one of the bracket here so that will not gonna be the exact match we need to use the approximate match now for that most of the users what they do they insert a new raw and they put the numbers manually like this let's say if I add a raw here and I will start 1 6 26 36 why I'm doing this helper raw because I want to use X lookup with an approximate match okay and I'm using the minimum the starting number of this age bracket 51 and then 56 so I can use very old version of Excel then I need to do this kind of a thing okay so let me remove this and let me give you first concept how to uh, extract the first age number from each of the cell okay so this is a kind of uh, an idea for you so let's get start equals to text before and I will select this entire raw and then I use the second function argument that is the delimiter here so the delimiter here is space hyphen space within the inverted commas and close the bracket so what happens it returns a number uh, or it's not a number actually it's it's a text because these are on the left side and we have used a function called text before so if I cross check this like uh, if I say equals to if this is a number so it if it returns true this means a number but it returns false this means we got the number but the property of that cell is text okay so now what we need to do we have extracted the numbers which is the first number from each of the cell of age bracket but we also need to convert that into a value so we will be adding a value function before text before function okay and let's close the bracket so similar outputs but now the property is is being number okay uh, fulfilling the criteria for male with respect to their ages okay so let's get start equals to x lookup so the lookup value uh, first we will go with the gender which is in e15 now one thing if you see we have that uh, hospital care age wise cross contribution where we don't have m or f we have the full spelling of male and female where in our data we have just one alphabet of for the gender representation like m or f right so definitely if i use x lookup and if i select this i mean that will create a conflict and that will not return the answer so what i need i will do uh, one more addition of a function so in the lookup array what i need to do if it's a male so return the first alphabet from the left side it's a female uh, fetch the first alphabet from the left side so that will match this criteria so in the lookup array argument I will say left and then I will go to select b6 and b7 and I will say f4 to make it absolute close the bracket so that will return the first character from the left side then return array now in the return array because it's a two-way lookup so I will be adding one more X lookup in the return array function argument so let's write X lookup again now that will be based on defining so we will be using text before function the first argument is text so we will be selecting this entire of the edge bracket make it absolute press F4 comma then delimiter space hyphen space and then close the bracket and then return array what is the return array definitely so return array will be the numbers range so we have selected from c6 to i7 so c6 to i7 make it absolute then comma comma match mode will be minus one because we will be using the approximate match 
and then close the bracket and that's it we got the premium let's say uh, the Arsalan Khan at the age of 41 gender male getting 20,207 so we can see that it falls in this particular age bracket 36 to 45 and if I manually change this let's suppose if I change to 35 years so it should be uh, 16 399 okay so let me make it 35 so you can say the premium amount has been now changed okay so this means my formula is uh, absolutely right let me show it to you this is a two-way uh, lookup based on multiple conditions and I have given you the concept how we are getting it now we need to add another criteria for the female which is a bit complex but I mean that's again easy if you have uh, strong in the conceptual side I will show you how to do that as well but I hope that you have gone through this particular concept that how we fetch the premium amount okay let me do one more change let's say if the age of Arsalan Khan is just three okay so now I can see the amount is 31882, 31882. Definitely the status would be single. Okay. Right. Now let's go to the second criteria. Okay, so now we will we know that our answer is correct and we have verified that. So let's copy that. And that's it. So let's cross check uh, one of the female amount as well so let's say Hirasha age of 32 female married okay so primarily we have done the hospital care so it the amount is 15716 because the age is 32 so we can see 15716 is the right answer absolutely right another female let's say Neha Ali age 51 female married and 35959 so 35 959 that's it okay so our answers are matching so this means we have successfully made the logic for male or female right all right let's go back so we have allocated okay so we have so far calculated the premium amount for male and female based on hospital care age-wise cross contribution but we also need to add the maternity age wise gross contribution for females now Okay, and we have we need to restrict that. Uh, for for instance, uh, a female should be uh, age start from eighteen and less than forty five. Number one. Number two is that that female should be married, right? So we need to add that criteria. So how to do it? First, I will do in a separate column, and then I will merge with this particular premium column. Okay. So let's get start. So I will be starting with if. And we will be defining some multiple conditions to get true on the back end at the same time. So we will be using AND function. And we will say that uh, if E15 is equals to female means F, comma logic 2, if F15 is equals to M means married, if d15 so d15 should be greater than equals to 18 and then again d15 should be less than and equals to 45 we need to restrict like this okay. so if these all the conditions meet so we want to do x lookup uh, based on column d 15 okay and then again the same logic value text before and we will select the age brackets raw make it absolute getting the delimiter which is space hyphen space inverted commas close bracket close and then the return array would be coming from this particular raw so the return array would be coming from this particular raw so let's select this raw f4 and we are going for approximate match so we will be using minus one here 
so now you can see answer here which is generating a false here so let me in press enter false here why because this is a mail here so what we need to do is we need to fill the last argument if value false write zero here okay let's copy and paste the formula below and we got the uh, cross contribution now let's cross check this so we will select the data applying the filter option and let's filter the females and single so definitely there will be no uh, maternity age wise cross contribution because they are single and for married so as you can see that uh, the allocation has been done properly so if we can see the first example like Aisha Khan uh, 32 years of old female married and she is getting 17603 which is right here okay and similarly for Neha Ali 51 years of age married but she is not getting because the organization has rest restricted to the 45 years right so that's how we have created this now what we need to do is we will just copy this logic and we will uh, add a plus sign here we will paste that logic we don't need this now and copy and paste that particular formula here so this is the logic uh, this is a two-way lookup uh, we have done in excel 365 version uh, having two-way x lookup with some multiple conditions okay oh we have uh, applied and solved this issue with the help of multiple X lookup uh, based on uh, different criteria, two-way lookups like. So if you're working in not just in the insurance organization but also if you're working in risk management department audit finance uh, you might have customer based or client based data where you need to uh, allocate the bonuses or I mean any kind of amount to them okay so these kind of a challenges come across okay so i hope you have learned something new from this video moreover we can make it more complex for example this organization what they do they have not just one plan for the hospital care but they have multiple plans like plan a plan b plan c eventually for the maternity age wise gross contribution they might have not just come with one plan but multiple plans so in this particular scenario uh, we the, the entire logic will not change it will remain the same but the condition would be uh, the ranges or the arrays would be getting uh, revised uh, but the logics might be remain uh, appropriately the same okay so I hope you like this video and do share with your colleagues thank you